Hello, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com and in a break from the norm, I thought I'd share a Photoshop tutorial with you instead of the usual After Effects tutorials that you've probably seen on my page. So what we'll be doing today is taking this uh, quite nice but not particularly eye-catching photograph I shot in uh, the UK a couple of years ago and using the uh, dodge and burn tools to turn it into something a little bit more dynamic. Now if you've not used Dodge and Burn in Photoshop before, you'll find that these are really useful tools for selectively brightening and darkening areas of detail in your photograph, which can take a, a fairly flat exposure like this one and turn into something a little bit more punchy. So uh, let's get started. First tool I'm going to select is the uh, Dodge tool. Now the shortcut key for uh, this is O, um, but you can select it from the toolbar on the left hand side of the paint. Now I'm going to select a smaller brush, so just right click and drag it to about, I don't know, 200 pixels. What I'm going to do is uh, select the highlights first. Now remember the uh, the dodge tool actually brightens things, whereas the burn tool darkens things, and uh, I want to brighten the, the boat that you can see at the front. So with the dodge tool selected, and highlight selected, and 50% exposure, just going to start on the sides of the boat to bring up the detail. Now if you wanted to do this properly you could um, mask off the selected area just to make sure that you're uh, not going to affect any of the detail around the boat but uh, just for the sake of simplicity I'm going to leave it unmasked and uh, try and be as careful as I can with the use of the mouse. So as you can see it's uh, really taking those highlights and uh, punching them out. Now you can go over as many times as you like, but just bear in mind that the more you go over, the more likely you are to get uh, colour degradation. So if I zoom in a little bit, you might be able to see some uh, colour noise really starting to pop in on this. So you just need to be aware of that. So I'll just undo that because I think that's taken it just a little bit too far. Now I'm going to uh, do the same thing, but with the uh, mid-tone selected and just run it over the inside of the boat to bring out some of the interior detail a little. And I'm also going to run it over some of the, uh, the pebbles just on the outside, being careful not to destroy any of the uh, shadow that this boat is creating. And that just brings uh, up some of the mid-range detail a little bit more. Okay and finally with the shadows range selected back into the boat and we'll just pick up some of that interior detail a little bit more. Okay that's brightened that up nicely. Next thing to do is uh, go back to your tool panel and select the burn tool. Now you'll notice that I've already got a very large brush selected here. This is because we're going to be doing um, the sky next. So to avoid going over the same area twice and uh, doubling up on the, the, the uh, burn effect you need to select a large brush, in this case it's about 900 pixels. And I've also um, got the exposure setting down to 25%. So with the mid-tone selected, exposure set to 25% and a large brush, just run over the sky very quickly. Now we'll take a couple of passes And already you can see that's bringing out the mid-tones very, very nicely in the sky and making it look a lot more uh, impressive than it was previously. Now I'm happy with that look, but I just want to tweak a little. So back to the Dodge tool and select Highlights. Drop the exposure down to 25%. Select a bigger brush. And we'll just run over the sky again just to bring out some of the highlights in the sky. And that's it, you're done. Um, simple use of the Dodge and Burn tool takes this rather uninspiring um, flat exposure and turns it into something a lot more contrasty and punchy. Now just as an aside, you can actually buy this photograph and uh, several others that I've taken along with some t-shirts from my website at redbubble.com so on a shameless piece of self-promotion, if you go to redbubble.com forward slash people forward slash L Grayson, you'll see all the work that I have for sale there. 
So um, if you're interested, take a look. Hope you like it. Hope you found this tutorial useful. And I'll see you next time.